Something else I want to go over is using the camera and framing. So I'm going to use this camera here to describe the shots that I'm doing as I'm doing them. So right now, this is not really looking at me, it's looking at the top of my head. So framing wise, this isn't great. This is probably not very good. You can't see my eyes. Usually we connect with people through uh, visual connection to eyes. We can, we can tend to tell whether or not someone's telling the truth in their eyes. And there's a lot of psychological stuff going on there that people are just not aware of. So this shot right now where we just see the top of my head and my forehead and you can see the wrinkles in my forehead there, that's communicating something, but it's not great. So positioning it more on my face, much better. This particular shot, we'd probably call this a close-up, almost an extreme close-up. It's very personal as far as the space goes. And that's how you would want to think about the positioning of the camera. How are you engaging with someone? If you were actually talking to someone physically this close, could be a slight invasion of personal space. So maybe this is too close, or that's the point. For dramatic reasons, you want to be in someone's face. So you do come this close, and you understand that, again, a visual proximity, just like we talked about with uh, audio proximity. There's a visual proximity of physically you being there, and that's actually the camera. It still works the same way. So if I move this back by quite a bit, this feels a little more casual. It's not as aggressive. It's a bit nicer. This, however, framing-wise, you can see the top of my head. It looks like I'm quite short. It doesn't look like we're talking at the same level as far as the way I'm seeing it and the way that the person is actually talking to the camera. So you want to tilt this a little down to get this to work a bit better. So this feels much better. There is a thing called the rule of thirds. So the rule of thirds basically divides up the screen shape into three vertical and three horizontal columns and pillars. So if I was to take my thirds like this, I'm actually sitting in a pretty good third. However, if I'm talking like that, it might actually feel a bit more grounded if I, my head was actually sitting on the third line there. The eyes is also an important component, so the eyes are actually the other third. If I was to take the thirds like so, you could see roughly my eyes are in a pretty good position. If I was to do this, and you look at the thirds, my eyes are actually at the wrong set of thirds for it to feel natural. So we need to have it something like that. So this is just a couple of rule of thumb things. Um, if I was to position myself like that and talking in that direction, it feels like there's all this empty space over here and it doesn't look right. This is called talking space. So the conversation's happening this way, you really want to have more space for that conversation to be taking place in that direction. So if you had two people talking to each other, you would have the opposing sides to have talking space for both of them. A couple other things here, um, if I was to extend this leg just a little and tilt this down, I can then position this up and it looks like literally you're looking down at someone. So this communicates something different again. Um, the same thing if I was to shorten this leg and put this on the ground and tilt it up. So now this feels like you're either on the ground looking up, the person that's conversing isn't aware that you're there. So there's little psychological things there. Think about yourself. If you were physically sitting down there or lying down there, what would that be feeling like as far as you're the camera? Same thing if we were to put it over there and I was to stand and I was to look down, this is a, a bit of a power shot. Notice I'm trying to keep my head in a decent amount of space there. If I was to have too much space taken up by my head, this fills the frame. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Depends on what you're trying to communicate. A lot of drama uses these different angles in order to psychologically communicate things are comfortable, they're uncomfortable, they're secret, they're being watched from above, they're being watched from below. 
someone's talking down to someone, someone's talking up to someone, all that sort of stuff. So I'm hoping that this helps you understand a little bit more of the way to use the camera and using different angles. Um, there's more angles out there like wide shots, uh, extreme wide shots, so you get a very big sense of space and a full bodied person can easily fit inside the frame. Um, a wide shot generally will fit most of someone in there. Mid shots usually start from the, the, the belly up. Um, there's other little things out there and I'm sure you can do a little bit of research and find out more about that stuff as you get more experience with it.